Uh, hello there. Good evening. Today I'm feeling a bit better than I did in my last video. Not 100%, but a bit better. Um, this is going to be another uh, part of the segment of a lesson in woke. And how just about anybody can be useful to the medical system. And in most cases, that is a bad thing. A very bad thing. Um, because the medical system is constantly trying to find um, new ways of approaching certain situations. And they will make examples out of people um, under the flimsiest of pretexts and continue making excuses, uh, writing up a giant stack of paper. I don't even want to think about uh, how many papers are been written about me. It's all, it's not as hard as it sounds. It's all, you know, pre-typed out and they, they fill in the lines and that's about it. Um, but I had made videos about my sore throat. Uh, it is not GERD. Um, it is straight up the medications that I was blackmailed into taking. Um, and the same thing with my chest pain, as I suspected, it is non-cardiac. That means it is zero chance of being lethal. Which means in their minds, they haven't done anything wrong, because they're trying to make an example of me. Um, for the supposed greater good um, and what I mean by that is if you have a sore throat or you get chest pains or both along with other things um, because you consume alcohol the odds are you are not going to consume alcohol unless um, you know you uh, understand that the alcohol in this situation is not the problem. The problem is the medications they give me cause these ailments. That's the problem. They want to focus strictly on alcohol. And they blame it for a lot of society's problems. I mean, think of all the tens of thousands of teenagers that have been burnt to a crisp because they got drunk and got into a car. And then here's old me going, well, I got a sore throat, I got chest pains. Doctors don't give a shit. They go, are you going to die from it? No. Then get the fuck out of my way. Uh, that's essentially it. And they use the term non-intrusive. Meaning that they leave you alone to your own devices. And, you know, make sure that you're somehow tied in with taking medications. Um... There is no paperwork that says I have to take these medications. It is because I took them before when there was paperwork saying I had to take them that um, they left hooks into me where if I stop taking them, it's not a psychological thing with me. It's a physical thing. My body will start to, the sore throat will come back even worse. This is not hypochondria. This is an actual fact. Uh, probably a whole bunch of other things. I don't know about the chest pain, but I'm sure that would too. And therefore, um, on one level of it, um, I am still required to take medications. Um, and it kind of pisses me off because this stuff is a bunch of junk. And not only that. Um, there's a few other aspects that some people can't even comprehend because they don't know Canada like this. It, none of this stuff has ever happened to them. They'd have no comprehension of it. You can't Google search this stuff. Um, so a few other significant problems with this. Number one, say I was a weaker character. And I said, all right, I say I renounce alcohol. It is evil. I um, am a better person when I'm sober. I'm more pleasant to be around. I don't have any reason to be pissed off about things. 
uh, yada, 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 I won't drink again ever. And they see this in my blood results. They see the uh, triglycerides go down. They see the liver enzymes go down and all that sort of stuff. And they go, okay, um, we'll modify his medication without his knowledge. Uh, which they probably do every single time I get a uh, refill of my prescriptions, um, is that they tweak it a little bit in whatever direction they want to go in. Um, and in doing this, uh, it leaves the patient um, unable to exactly pinpoint what exactly is going on. Uh, is it a buildup from years of taking medications or years of drinking alcohol? Or is it something they've added in the recent prescription? So they make it so small and indetectable through, or undetectable, through um, normal means that uh, the patient is usually confused and has no comprehension of what it is they're trying to do. Um, but the thing is, Say I full heartedly agreed and discontinued drinking alcohol, even though I'm not really a problem when I drink alcohol. Uh, I do get pissed off like a lot of people do. And if you have reasons to be pissed off, being drunk just exacerbates it. But I wouldn't have reasons to be pissed off if I didn't have a sore throat and, you know, some other things going on. Um, but, you know, you like to make sure you have problems. If you didn't have a problem before, go see a doctor and you'll have a new one. Um, yeah, guess what? Say I did. And then, you know, a few years down the road, they'd call it a relapse. But let's say I wanted to have some drinks. It's not a friggin' big deal. I don't even look at it as an addiction. Uh, it's, you know, it can be overdone. A lot of people do think it's an addiction. Uh, I simply do not agree with them. They can bring back all the problems, the physical ailments that I have, just like that. They do blood work. They look at it. And um, they go, always swerving off. Let's give them non-lethal medications that um, will bring back the physical ailments so that anytime he's ever doing something, that uh, they don't like. Let's say I decided I wanted to eat a cheeseburger every single day and they found out about that. Didn't like it. And I'm not talking about like a McDonald's cheeseburger. I'm talking like a you know, nice, big, giant, um, delicious cheeseburger with like bacon, uh, fried onions on it and like chipotle sauce. And you know, you, you know where I'm getting at, right? Um... Say they found out about that and they didn't like that. They can go, oh, well, we know this can lead to heart disease and uh, heart attacks and strokes and things like that. Um, so we're really doing him a favor by giving him this uh, pain that he is obviously exaggerating because he's a little wimp. Yeah, after nearly 10 years of a sore throat, I would say that that is excessive and that's bullying, that's abusive behavior, uh, most certainly an abuse of power, and they get away with all this because of this cloak of secrecy. Everything's a secret. Nobody uh, wants to talk about, um, certainly medications, but their health or anything like that, and people don't want to listen either. Uh, especially when it comes to primitive caveman arguments. Um, but it's a problem for me. And, you know, um, I just don't feel like falling in line with these people. You know, doing what they want me to do. What? Do you want me to let you off the hook too? Uh, 10 years of abuse? Minimum? I was a patient for 12, actually, if you continue, um, the fact that I still have to take medications. Um, am I supposed to... Do exactly what you want me to do, and then me blame myself for the situation I'm in, for some twisted reason. You get to look good, 
get to tell all your colleagues, your, as your, uh, your higher ranking hierarchy of the medical system, how great a job you did when all you did was poison somebody and then come along and go, well, look, now he's behaving. I mean, there were people like you before. They were called Christians or Catholics or religiosos. Islam was not very good either. And the only difference between what you do and what they did is that you don't go around beating them with a stick, usually. Um, not always, but usually. I mean, I've never been beaten with a stick, but there are other people in similar situations as me, not exactly the same, who have been beaten by, with sticks. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, anyway, the point being is that this is not a new mental, a new idea. It's from the old world. Um, and at one point I was, you know, I, I was contemplating going to A&A and I did for a little bit. And there was this program there that you know help people specifically and all that and one of the things they really were trying to emphasize with me is trying acupuncture and I told the guy to fuck off basically and he still kept trying to insist and I'm like you can keep insisting but I don't want to do it and I'm not going to do it so tough and he didn't like that at all. Did not like that one bit. And you know all that is. Is I'm stabbing you with needles and then saying, Oh, it's the evil. Uh, no. That doesn't do anything. It doesn't actually work. It's like, why don't I go to a witch doctor out in the fucking jungle and get them to try some fucking jungle medication on me. Go to South America or something like that. Fucking idiots. And that's the other thing. They, they control everything. No matter what they do, you're not allowed to get angry in front of them. And you may have every reason in the world to get pissed off with them, but you can't. And, you know, that's not really a healthy way to go through life, to be pissed off all the time. But there are reasons to be pissed off, and that is a part of human nature. As is the fact that I'm making this video and there are a bunch of people who are pissed off with me. Because they, you know, probably the sounds of, um, you know cars exploding and people being on fire and all that sort of stuff um and me saying i'm going to continue drinking alcohol what their what they call treatment plan is what is responsible for my ailments and i could be more helpful i could be more useful uh and go along with their program making them look good and it's like as I said, after nearly 10 years of a sore throat, as well as other physical ailments, I'm in no mood to make those assholes look good. And they act like they have all the aces and all the kings and all the queens in, uh, in their uh, deck of hands, hand of cards, and I've got nothing. And it's like, that's not actually true. Um, and they would prefer I stop making YouTube videos and that I shut my mouth and that I um, concede and stop consuming alcohol and it'll show my blood results. And, um, you know, whenever they feel like it, uh, so as I said, as I get older, um, you know, things don't work as well. Like the liver, for example, the liver takes a beating and all that. Um, they can reintroduce this anytime they want and act like they're caring. That's not caring. That's just being an abusive asshole. Um, and I don't care what boat I have to sink to get my way because it's obvious being nice to these people and doing what they tell you doesn't get you anywhere. They just treat you like you're an idiot, like a loser. Call your names. And it's like, well, I got a name for you, and you ain't gonna like it. I'm gonna say it here, but uh, I got some names for these medical professionals that they don't like, and I'm not gonna do the things they want me to do. And uh, I think I'm in better control of my emotions than they are of theirs. Probably having a shit fit right now.
but um, they won't let me see that. And not only that, um, you know, making YouTube videos, you always have to be conscientious of the fact that uh, something from the outside world might might uh, intervene, cause some stress, maybe try to get a panic reaction out of you. So they do send goons around. And sometimes they look the part, and sometimes it's like, it's all about determining if they have to play by a set of rules. Because an out-of-control homeless person uh, who doesn't play by the rules, um, they can't go anywhere near me. I'm a pet project. I just, it, it has to be strictly controlled who can interact with me or not. Uh, no random can do that. You think this psychiatrist wants some random, you know, shanking me or something like that? No, because then that would be a real-life, potentially dangerous situation for me to be in. And as I said, they don't regard giving somebody a sore throat for nearly 10 years or giving them chest pains or as well as a bunch of other physical ailments, which I'm not going to get into, as um, a dangerous situation. Unless, of course, I was a little whiny crybaby who went, oh, it's all too much. I can't take it. <laughs> By the way, that doesn't get you any respect either. Uh, in fact, that just uh, enables them to throw more shackles on you. And it's just like, fuck off. Alex Jones was right. This is a prison planet. Uh, and, you know, okay, a lot of the stuff he said I didn't pay much attention to, but uh, Prison Planet, that was a term I did here, and, yeah, it does definitely feel a little bit like that, yeah. Can't even have a cold one? What kind of joke is that without somebody getting offended and trying to make me the poster boy for their program? And it's like, fuck off! Just fuck off! And uh, there's the old cliche if you um, uh, that if uh, a person because they label alcohol uh, consumption as an addiction, so it's roped in with everything, of course, even though it has nothing to do with all the other stuff. But anyway, they always go, oh well, if the person doesn't want help, then there's nothing you can do for them. And then most people go, yeah, that means they're going to leave me alone. Well, actually, another way of looking at it is they'll convince you that you want to, you want to, you want help. You want to help to stop drinking alcohol and things like that. Um, or things are similar or things that, you know, they've roped in together, I mean. Um, and it's like, so no... And then they turn around and go, well, we're not giving up on him. No, you're not giving up on trying to torture me and get away with it. Um, it's a little bit different. It's not quite the same thing at all. And in this day and age of Wi-Fi, um, you know, uh, you, you got to earn a living you know you live in a certain place maybe you don't have a car maybe you have a car you don't know i don't have a car um it's actually not too difficult to know exactly where somebody's probably gonna be um at all i mean uh they don't want you using change on the bus anymore they want you to have a compass card with this compass card it tells the internet right away where exactly where you are. They can pinpoint exactly what bus you're on and which direction you're going in. Um, little things like that. And then you get your Wi-Fi connections. And, um, you know, so everything you look at on the internet, every, and I think I have mentioned this in a video before, uh, at least I should have anyway, um, even where your cursor is, they know exactly where it is. They can see everything that you're doing. And, of course, everything has to be Wi-Fi, and they tell you how convenient it is and all that sort of stuff. Let me tell you something about technology and why I don't like it. My iPhone 7 was a better phone than my iPhone 13. 
I fucking hate my iPhone 13. The only thing better about it is the camera sometimes works a little better. Um, but other than that, internet connection is not as good. Um, supposedly I have all this data, uh, but uh, that don't mean squat if half the time your your internet won't work. Uh, whereas with my 7, everything was all hunky-dory until my contract ran out and it absolutely refused to upgrade to a 4 even though I read on the internet that 7s can convert to uh, 4G networks but no, 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 no they couldn't have that so um, I had to get a 13 and I gotta say it's an underperformer uh, maybe better pictures maybe better sound but that ain't much anyway, I sort of drifted off topic for a second I just wanted to emphasize that Wi-Fi, the internet, and all that sort of stuff. That's all more sophisticated. Now, I don't go looking up stuff on the internet that uh, any other normal person wouldn't as well. Uh, some of the stuff I put up is, you know, on my Facebook in particular, is there for, uh, you know, a distraction. Uh, something to look at that really doesn't go anywhere. Um, and, um, you know, to be honest with you, I think I have a more rational and sane reason why I search the things I search, the videos I watch, than most people. Most people out there are creeps, or stupid, or stupid creeps. One of those three combinations of things. Um, and like I said... They're the ones that go, well, I don't even have a Facebook account. I rarely ever leave a comment on a video. Uh, I go in incognito mode. As if that means any difference to the big brother or the internet company. Yeah, oh, I'm in incognito mode. I'm. They can't see what I'm doing now. No, that's to trick the stupid people. Um, and I don't have anything to be ashamed of. Um, but I do have a few reasons to be pissed off, and a sore throat for 10 years, yeah, that'll do it, and no, all sore throats are not the same, some people describe it as their sore throats as like, almost like broken crystals in their throat or something like that, I don't know exactly what that is, it might be strep throat or something, I don't have that, I got a pain right here in a sensitive spot, and it feels like it's constricting, and that's a physical thing. That's not a psychological thing that's going on. That's a physical feeling of that. And then what do the doctors do? They just ignore the problem. And continue to ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. And, and then um, hopefully one day that they get their way. And this video is here to describe that, no, you are never going to get your way. You're never going to convince me that uh, this was my fault because it is clearly your fault. Your priorities are not the same as my priorities. I'll consider drinking less alcohol in the future, but at 36 years of age, it's not a priority for me. They don't want to look at it that way. They look at still looking at it from a psychological point of view. They go, well, if he doesn't change his ways now, he's never going to. Too late, that boat went and sailed. It's gone. I'm not going to change my ways. Um, yeah, but getting back to this, uh, back to the real world thing, uh, the medical system is actually a powerful entity that has the ability to do things that people aren't even aware that they're capable of doing. So, among my travels, I might accidentally ran into a, uh, what I've described before as a Babadook. And, um, it has to play by certain rules. Try to get me paranoid, get me stressed out, hopefully get a panic reaction out of me. But it doesn't work, because there's always a little something that gives them away. And, um... You know, uh, I'm not going to say I'm the most athletic person, but I am six foot and I think that I can um, 
you know, uh, bark at him and that'll be the end of it. But um, I don't know, maybe they'll just try harder. I guess that's something I'm going to have to find out. Um, yeah, because um, people are opinionated and sometimes they just don't change their opinions. The difference is I don't care what they do. I'm focused on number one. I'm focused on myself. And what can I do to better my situation? As long as they fuck off and fuck off with this treatment plan, take that with them and do it on someone else if they're so inclined to do so, uh, and kind of, I don't know, piss off away from me, then um, I really, you know, I'm sure society will figure out what best to do with that situation uh i would hope i mean like i said you know the millions of people affected by alcohol and me saying oh i've got a sore throat and chest pain it's like well my friend he he uh lost his legs in a car accident because there was a drunken driver and it's like, um, yeah, but what does that have to do with me exactly? Um, I mean, if you're going to change that into, well, now we have justification for giving you the sore throat because this happened to someone else in some other country probably or something anywhere, um, then, you know, it's a real childish thing to do. But, uh, hey, if it's effective at, uh, A, pissing them off, and B, making them stop doing what they're doing, which is what I kind of want, um, I could just burst out laughing. I could find all of that comical. I could go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I was there with some popcorn and, uh, you know, a few brewskis so I could watch it. Oh, hell, I'm going to go on uh, on the thing on the internet and watch a bunch of uh, car crash videos. Um, that would make me a real jerk. But if, if for the end, you know, because people make mistakes when they get pissed off. That's one of the th reasons why getting pissed off is actually a stupid thing to do. Um, but as I said, there are reasons to be pissed off. And if properly managed, then... That's all about self-discipline and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, it's a real complicated, twisted w w tissue of lies the, uh, the medical system is. And, um, you know, I actually don't deal with that many medical professionals at all. I don't want to deal with a lot of them because I already don't like most of them. But um, the ones I deal with, oh, they're benign. They're you know, you know, they're just doing their thing. It's the ones you don't meet, like the ones, like the people on the internet. It's the ones you don't see that are the malignant ones. So like, I ain't even mad at um, um, at any particular medical staff that I can think of. Well, except the psychiatrist. I'm kind of really pissed off with them. But, hey, if they're cutting me a check for $100,000, then, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll uh, play nice for 15 minutes while they do that. Um, Yeah, because we'll be seeing each other soon. Because I don't want to deal with those medical professionals who feel as though me having a sore throat and therefore renouncing alcohol is a good thing and they want to be able to get away with that and promote themselves while doing it. I don't want to meet them. I have to. There's a difference. I would rather they, everything kind of just worked out, but um, I know it's not going to work out to my favor in that way. They're going to get away laughing away uh, at my character uh, thinking they've got one up on me that they are the best society has to offer. I got news for them. They're not. Um, yeah. 
a lot of uh, really despicable people running around in this world. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm not that useful to them at all. Uh, not in the way I described. Um, in fact, I'm going to have to be a problem because I'm going to have to go, hey, wait a minute. This is what you're doing. And basically, it enables you to be a bully because you want to propagate this into a, you know, a larger scale and therefore be a bigger, you know, menace to society. And um, I'm not cooperating. I don't have to. Fuck you. Anyway, I'll tail this video off here. And uh, anyone watching this, I hope you learned something very interesting. Anyway, just think a little bit outside the box. Anyway, enjoy your night.